Welcome to my swim party! I am so excited to go swimming today! And I'm so glad you could make it! Oh, I just love to swim! I love the way the water refreshes you when it's so hot outside. I am ready to go swimming too! I've got my floaties and all my gear and my parents' permission. Remember, we don't go swimming without permission from our parents or guardians. Have any of you been swimming recently? I like playing with the noodles in the pool. Have you ever blown water out of a noodle like it's a trumpet? <gasps> I think it's so silly when I see people do that. You know, I've been thinking a lot about swimming today because one, it's my swim party today. And two, I read a story in the Bible this week about a man who all he wanted to do was go swimming, but he could never get to the pool. Isn't that sad? Every time he wanted to have a turn to go into this special pool, somebody beat him to it. Have you ever wanted to play something before and then somebody got to it before you and then they snatched it up and then you have to wait for your turn? It can be so hard to wait for a turn when you just really want something so bad. Like me, I've been wanting to swim all week, <laughs> but I've had to be so patient and waiting for my party. I'm excited to tell you about the man today who wanted to go into the pool so badly, but kept missing his turn. I'll tell you something though, this man in our story encounters Jesus and remember, when people encounter Jesus, things change. Which makes me think of what we talked about last week. Let's have a quick recap. We have been following Jesus in his time here on earth. A few weeks ago, we talked about Jesus encountering 10 men who were really sick and how the Holy Spirit moved through Jesus to heal them. Last week, we saw Jesus help Jairus' daughter and the woman with the issue of blood. He healed both of them. We learn that Jesus is our helper. We can always count on Jesus. We also tried something new last week, and I think I wanna try it again today. We all stood up together and showed off our best dance moves. So I figured since today is my swim party, we could all get up and do our best swimming dance move. So let's have a dance break. Ever seen. Did you enjoy my amazing swim moves? Yes. Well, let's get into our story today. It's time for Story Mode. Jesus was returning to Jerusalem for a Jewish holiday. There was a gate in Jerusalem called the Sheep Gate. <laughs> and by the Sheep Gate, there was a pool called Bethesda. A lot of disabled people, the blind, the lame, and the paralyzed, would lay by this pool waiting to be healed. These people were waiting for the waters of the pool to be stirred. For an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and stirred up the water. Whoever then first, after the stirring up of the water, stepped in was made well from whatever disease they had. Yay! Isn't that so cool? So you have like all these sick people laying by this pool called Bethesda. And then when the angel of the Lord came and stirred up the water in the pool, whichever person went in first, after it was stirred, they were healed. So there was a man by the pool who had been ill for 38 years. That is such a long time. He has been ill longer than most of us have ever even been alive. Jesus saw the man lying there and knew that the man had been there a really long time and in that condition. Jesus said to the man, Do you wish to get well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Get up, pick up your mat and walk. Immediately, the man became well. He picked up his mat and began to walk. This miracle happened on the Sabbath. 
That's the day of rest. So the Jews were saying to the man who was cured, you can't work on the Sabbath. The law doesn't allow you to carry that sleeping mat. The man replied to the Jews, the man who healed me told me, pick up your mat and walk. The Jews said, who said such a thing as that? But the man didn't know for Jesus had disappeared into the crowd. Afterwards, Jesus found the man in the temple and told him, Now you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Because of this, the Jews were persecuting, which is like harassing and giving a really hard time to Jesus. Jesus answered these people, My father is working until now, and I myself am working. Because of this, the Jews wanted to kill Jesus even more because he wasn't just breaking their rules about Sabbath, but he was calling God his own father, making himself equal to God. Wow, so much happened in that story. There was a pool where sick people would go to get healed, but only the first person in after the waters were stirred would be healed. There was a man who had been ill for 38 years there who had never had a turn to get in the water first. He was still waiting to get healed. Jesus saw this man and knew how long he had waited and how cool that Jesus healed him. Then a bunch of Jews got upset because Jesus healed him on the day of rest, the Sabbath. But Jesus told the people that he was working because his father is working. And remember, Jesus is completing God's plan here on earth. He was just doing what God wanted him to do. It would have been really hard to be that man who was ill for so long. He was right by what he wanted, but was never able to get to it. That must have been really, really hard. It can be really hard to wait on things we want. But what I love in this story is that Jesus saw the man, and without even talking to him first, knew that he had been waiting. Jesus knows us. He knows the things you desire and want. He understands everything you feel and go through. Yay! Jesus saw the man and he healed him. We've been talking a lot about how Jesus makes time for us. Jesus understands us and how Jesus helps us. We need to know that Jesus is always there for us. Yay! We might have to be patient longer than we want or things might go a little different than expected. But we need to know that Jesus loves us and he never forgets us. He knows what you need and he loves you. Groupon. All right, guys. Well, I really, really, really want to get back to my swim party. So thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye.